Hello, and welcome back to another video. I'm finally back outdoors. So, today you join me on a coastal walk. I'm on the southwest coast path. And uh, you would have seen all my walking in shots. I started off at Babacom. I started off a little bit further up than I wanted to. It was um, Odicum Beach. And I walked under the, um, the uh, Babacom Cliff Railway. I'm not sure if I've ever been on that one or not. I know I've been on one. There's one at Lynmouth or Linton up in, on the north coast. Oh yeah, absolutely stunning around there. So as you can see here, I'm going to be walking along the cliff tops. Then here you have Sheldon. Uh, this is the Ness where Sheldon Sue is and Holcomb. So the plan for today is to walk from Odicum Beach and try and get as far as Dawdish. Now originally I wanted to go from Tynmouth to Dawdish and walk through Holcomb just as a short walk. I've not done it before. And I wanted to get that that part or like Holcomb Beach on onto film because they're going to be redoing it soon. All this um, network rail work to protect the railway. But, because I haven't been out for probably for ages now, I decided to do this longer walk. I'm so unfit, I'm not sure if I'm going to manage to complete it or not. But it doesn't matter, because there's so many ways off the south coast um southwest coast coast path that i can come back up and just get the bus back home now i've not wanted to use public transport and i'm not going to lie to you i did get the bus this morning you know some of you might think i shouldn't have done it but it's the only way to get here and for me, this is quite essential. It's, yeah, home's very manic at the moment, very manic. And I just needed to get out and clear my head. It's, um, yeah, I, I've been quite stressful towards the family. And everyone's going at each other because, you know, nothing's normal at the moment. But it's the first time I've got the bus in a long time. And it's the first bus in the morning I've got. It starts off at Dawlish Warren. Just down the road, you've got Dawlish, where I've got on. There's one passenger on that bus that I've got on there. And I know that the buses have been having deep cleans. All the touch points have been cleaned every night. So... Since that clean, no one's been on that bus. So, yeah, that's that. <laughs> but I shouldn't need to get the bus going back anyway. I hope not. <coughs> right, just rambling on now. I think... I'll have to double check a second. Yep, spinning around. I would have gone down the lower path. There's me yapping on, I missed it. I'm going down to Shag Cliff. See you down there. Well, here we are on top of Shag Rock. Obviously we can't see the cliff, which is literally just down there. I've not seen any shags. I won't have a clue what a shag looked like. Now, I'll generally, um, obviously it's a bird species, a species of bird, but 
I'll have to look that up. I can't believe um, I was walking along this this path a little bit further back there, and then suddenly I looked over, and literally right here, you had a, a sheer drop right down to the bottom. I can hear lots of birds, but I wouldn't have a clue what the shag bird would sound like. So peaceful around here until I open my gob. There's the sea. Right, better crack on. I'm uh, a little behind schedule. I thought I'd better give you a little update. I've uh, cracked on a little bit. I've not done as much filming as I would have liked to have done. But that gives me opportunity to come out and film the bits I haven't done another time. So I'm four miles from Tinmouth. I was going to nip down to Maidencombe Beach, but I just need a... Get a crack on really, 
so like I said I can film that another day it's just coming up to 11 o'clock it's so warm today a lot warmer than I thought it was gonna be but uh, give it an hour then I better stop for something to eat it's a really really nice walk this I have to bring the missus up here. Definitely wouldn't bring the kids. No way would I trust them on the top of them cliffs. It's literally a path through the bush, straight drop down. And I know what my kids are like. Whew. Now this is the exact reason why I would not bring my kids along here. Literally just at the top there, you have the path tiny bit of hedge and then straight on down so there you have long quarry point and or stone rock I think it is I've just passed Herring Cove. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. So here, I'd just be walking along the top of these cliffs here. That looks like one hell of a climb. Then you've got the Ness, where Sheldon Sue is, which is obviously in Sheldon. Then you could just about make out Tinmouth Pier. Then you've got Holcomb. And you've got Dawlish to the other side of there. The end is in sight, nearly. Although I've still got a bit of a way to go. Look at how clear that water is. I don't think I've ever seen water as clear as this in England before. Normally it's pretty manky along here. Well, in England anyway. Love it. I've now left Tall Bay and I'm now heading into Teen Bridge, which is where I live. And this is Labrador Bay Nature Reserve. We have the edge of the cliff here. I'm not going to go any further than this. Gonna stick the uh, phone out though. Don't forget these kind of places we need to be sensible. And I've got this great big steep hill to go up.
but I've had to wait a little bit because there's some people walking past and I just couldn't breathe. That hill killed me, nearly. This is where I walked up from uh, earlier on. Started off here at Orkham uh, Beach. Walked all along the top of the cliff there. Up this real steep ass hill. And that's where, sorry, sorry it's just gone in my eye. That's where I'll be heading, off towards Holcomb. But I need something to eat first. So what a place to stop off for something to eat. I'm Hank Marvin. Unfortunately, these strawberries aren't homegrown next year. I just come up through there. It's literally a tiny, tiny bit of road walking. Let's come up to this field. Finally, have some company on this trip. I'm just chilling. And then. Look at that for a few. So, uh, Sheldon Sea, the Ness, Sheldon Golf Course, and in the foreground you have Tynmouth. You see the pier there, Tynmouth Pier. That's where I'm heading down to. Then I'm going to walk along the sea wall there. The tide's um, quite far out actually. Then up to... I 
can't remember what it's called now. <laughs> I've mentioned it so many times. Um, Holcomb. And just before I get to the train tunnel, I'm going to go underneath the railway line and then up, up and over. I should also mention down there is Ness Cove. And you can get down there, there's a tunnel that leads down from the top of the Ness. I'm going to leave that to another day, that'll be a whole different video. So I just need a crack on for today, as always. But I just want to do it like a, I don't know, maybe a whole video about or around Sheldon. Because there's so much around there. You've got the gardens, you've got obviously Ness Cove. It's a stunning little area. So I'd uh, do a separate video to that. Now that's what I was on about earlier on. And now I'm a bit closer. That's definitely where the River Teen comes out into the sea. So I think what that is, that's the current of the river coming out with obviously the waves coming in, which is producing that. If I'm wrong, can someone correct me? But that's the only explanation I can come up with right now. I'm so lucky to have this on the doorstep. Well, I say it's on the doorstep, it's what, five minute car drive from where I live. My allotments just down over there. Well, I'm currently on top of the Ness. I've not done much filming because I've had a concern with my battery and charged my phone. Here I am at the end of the Ness. There's the water that I keep on going on about. I'm pretty sure on clearer days you can see Portland Bill up by Weymouth on the Dorset coast. I think you can from here. But I know that coastline there is, um, well part of that is Dorset. You've got Lyme Regis. And then Sidmouth, Exmouth, there's Holcomb in the tunnel, Tinmouth with the Tinmouth Pier and Beach. Has to be done, honeycomb ice cream. Lovely. Well, that's where I've come from. There's Tinmouth, Tinmouth Pier, the Ness. And I started over on that coastline somewhere. I'm currently on Spray Point near to Holcomb. As you would have noticed, I've not done much filming. I've, I don't really like filming when there's many people about. I done a bit of filming over Sheldon Bridge, but unfortunately the sound didn't come out. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. I might leave that out or I might edit it somehow. I um, So I've come up to, I walked over the Sheldon Bridge. Yeah, there's a load of teenagers in the bush. Yeah, so I come over Sheldon Bridge and come up to Tinmouth Pier. Unfortunately, um, it's quite damaged at the very end of the pier. So I think they will be knocking that down for safety reasons, eventually. I actually, um, if you don't already know, I'm a bus driver and I do the two route, which comes through Tinmouth. I broke down at Tinmouth one day. I had to wait for the engineers to come out. So I walked out to this bit here. It's ideal, I got paid for doing it as well. And I got to come back empty as well. Didn't have to pick anyone up. 
So this is spray point. And Holcomb uh, Beach. There's a Holcomb Tunnel there. I think it's called the Holcomb Tunnel. And we're going to walk onto the railway line just before we get there. Well, this is Holcomb Beach. I've seen the plans uh, for what they're going to do here, and they're going to extend the seawall further out to sea, which is a shame because I think this is quite a well used beach. The locals here are petitioning against it, but you know, this. It's a massive lifeline to the southwest, this uh, railway line. So it does need protecting. It's a shame there's uh, so many people about, really. It's got people just behind me. I had plans to do a lot of walking to and from shots, set the camera up down on the beach and walk along this wall. But that is not going to happen. There I am at the end of Holcomb Beach. I should mention whilst I'm here, Isambard Brunel brought um, Isambard Brunel built this railway and all these tunnels. I suppose I've got to go up there now. This is something different. And we follow this up and it brings us up at the main road. Here we are. I've stopped at this many a times. See the two and the 22 come down here. And this bus stop here does me head in. Because if you're coming from Teamworth that way, driving the bus along, building up your speed, coming down the hill, someone presses a bell and you've got to stop there. Obviously, putting away in a bus, you lose all your momentum. So yeah, frustrating stop that one. There's the main road and the highly recommended smugglers in. I've not been there myself, but everyone you speak to say it's definitely worth going to. And there's Dordish. What a view from up here. So here you have Shower Cove, which you would have seen that on my Horse Cove video. You can see the breakwater coming out from the seawall with the uh, Dordas train station just there. And there's a bus I drive. There's the two service. I am so lucky. I got to this point just a minute ago, which is a little bit further down, and realised I haven't got my windshield and my microphone. So I had to literally walk all the way back up and around the corner. Luckily I found it. Luckily there were no predators around. I could have thought it was an animal. I uh, saw an old bloke doing the, doing the garden. I walked past and I thought, I stopped, I thought, should I ask him if, 
if he owns the land, if he would let me camp, because the view from there is stunning. And he said no, but that's fair enough. I don't blame him, to be honest with you. But you don't know in, in, until you're asked, do you? So here we are. There's the train tunnel. There's Shell Cove. I'll show you uh, part of the old video, from a horse cove video. So you can see me down here. But uh, I need to find a way to get onto that cove. Uh, apparently, you can only get across to it twice a year by walking. I'm really considering on getting a kayak. I can't afford one right now. Uh, I could get a cheap inflatable one, but it's so rocky and really sharp rock there as well, as you would have seen when I walked across. So inflatable is a big no-no. Would it be handy if I can get a proper kayak though? Hard shell kayak. But yeah, so that's Shell Cove. Horse Cove is just around the corner, along with Corin Corriton Bay, or Corriton Go Cove, sorry. So it's been a long day. You see the beach huts there, I've walked past before. Got Dawlish, um, Dawlish with the new Dawlish Sea Wall to protect the railway. Got the pier, not pier, I'm losing the plot. The um, breakwater and Dawlish train station. See if any trains go past whilst we're here. I'm not a train spotter, but it'd still be nice to see someone go past. More blooming steps. There are quite a lot of these steps going down these places like this, or even going up. I've, uh, you can't see it. It's not on this one, but on a lot of them, um, you've had clearings along the side with no steps. I've actually found it a lot easier to walk up and down that because these steps are doing my knees in. That's a nice little spot here. Yeah? much for this bird. <laughs> can hear a brick with a little stream. Oh yeah. That will obviously be fresh water. I don't think I'm going to see much more or anything else that interesting along this part. So, we'll walk this up to the road. Then from the road you come back down into another road and then onto Lee Mount. Which I'll probably see you there. Finally, I've made it. I'm chafing. I ain't got any blisters, which I'm shocked about, but I'll make them. That's uh, a good walk, but one hell of a walk. I'm here.
Right, so I'm going to end the video here. You've seen all this before. If you watched this far, thank you very much. I really do appreciate it, and I don't thank you enough. I'm up to 1,205 subscribers now, which is amazing. So, there's a little chick there. bit lost so yeah I really do appreciate it to all my old subscribers and new subscribers hopefully I'll be able to get out this week one more time for woodland walk and to have a look around because I'm back to work next week I'm dreading it So, like I said, thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Cheers.